So my name's Alison Pilnick. I'm Professor of Language, Medicine and Society in the School of Sociology and Social Policy here at the University of Nottingham. And I'm the convener for the Sociology of Health and Illness module on the Masters of Public Health course. And although I'm the convener, I don't teach all of the sessions because what we do is we bring in experts in particular areas to, to teach to their strengths across the module. So it's very much a team taught module. And I guess the starting point for the module is that it's now generally pretty well accepted that there's more to health and illness than simply clinical issues. So we know, for example, that patterns of health and illness vary according to factors like ethnicity or gender or socioeconomic status. And the sociology of health and illness takes those patterns as its starting point. But where it differs a bit from work that might be done by epidemiologists is that it tries to think about those illnesses very much in the context of people's individual lives. So it tries to think about how it might be that certain illnesses or diseases might be socially produced or socially distributed. So that has an impact, I guess, on how people decide whether or not they're ill in the first place, who they decide to seek help from in relation to their illness, so whether they put themselves in the hands of professionals or whether they consult amongst their friends and family, for example, about what they should do. It also has an impact on what they do with advice that they might get from professionals, so whether they decide that they'll follow that advice or not. And it may have an impact on whether or not they continue with courses of treatment, for example. So in terms of the content of the module, we teach seven sessions and we try and cover a broad range of themes within those sessions that begin with quite general themes. So we start by trying to think about this idea of illness as a social role and something that has social consequences and not just medical consequences. So we try and think about what that means, what it means to be an ill person within the context of a particular society. We assess the module by a single 2,500 word essay and we will give you a choice of about seven essay titles and broadly speaking those essay titles will correspond to the themes that we've covered in each of the sessions for the module. The titles are generally quite broad but what we try and do within those is allow students the opportunity to tailor them to their specific area of interest or their specific area of public health practice if that's what they want to do. So for example, if you're interested in writing an essay on medicalisation, then we're perfectly happy for you to tie that to an area that interests you, whether that might be mental health and illness, or whether it might be something related to reproduction and childbirth, or to HIV and AIDS, or to any other topic that you can think of. So we look forward to seeing you in September.